Hello! Today I want to do a book review of a book that I just finished a couple of nights ago and have a lot of thoughts on and that is Last Night in Montreal by Emily St. John Mandel. Emily St. John Mandel is of course the author of Station Eleven which is in my top five books of all time. I love it so much and so I was very eager to check out more from her and this is actually her first novel. So this book follows a couple of different storylines. The main storyline is about a woman named Lilia who when she was seven years old was abducted by her father in the middle of the night and the two of them spent 10 years on the run constantly moving from place to place never staying in one area too long and just not really settling down anywhere. Another thread of the story is of a private investigator who has a daughter about Lilia's age who was hired by Lilia's mother to track her down and bring her home. And the final thread of the story is Lilia's boyfriend Eli realizing that Lilia has left him and he goes into a frenzied panic kind of trying to figure out where she's gone and how he's going to find her again. It's told in several different parts and in each part you kind of get glimpses of the story. You realize pretty early on that something has happened to Lilia. There was some reason that her father abducted her and then throughout the entire story little pieces of the puzzle are put together and you get more and more glimpses of what exactly ties all these characters together. So my thoughts about this book are kind of complicated because on the one hand I really enjoyed it but I also had some problems with it and I don't really know how to fully articulate my feelings without just kind of rambling a little bit. So I didn't really plan this video out other than I just want to talk about the things I liked and didn't like, which is basically any book review. I just didn't really structure it very well. So automatically, right off the bat, I love the writing style of this book. I think that Emily St. John Mandel is an amazing writer. She really knows how to tell a story and she knows how to hook you. Clearly something has happened in Lilia's past and it's the reason that her father abducted her. But you don't really find out what exactly is going on until closer to the end of the book. And I was so curious about what exactly had happened that I definitely kept turning the page. Because there are so many different storylines, you kind of want to know how everything's going to tie together. If you've read Station Eleven, you know that the big thing about it is that there are multiple different stories being told and then at the end of the book everything ties together and it kind of comes together in a way that you don't really expect. And I would say that that is definitely present in this story as well. I think it might be Emily St. John Mandel's style. It's definitely her signature to spread the story out over 300 pages and make it all come together right in the end. And I think it was really, really well done. I really liked the, the structure of the story. I liked how it was told. I also really liked that while there are quite a few characters, every single character has time to develop. At the start of the book, once each character is introduced, they kind of just feel like characters. But by the end of the story, they all feel like real people. She spends a lot of time developing each of her characters in a pretty short amount of time. I believe this book is only 240 pages long. Each of her characters gets a backstory and they get development, they get a character arc. Everything that you could want is in this. I mean, as far as characters are concerned, she does a really good job of having really flushed out solid characters and when you're dealing with five or six characters that is really awesome because it's not often that an author can develop that many characters in such a short amount of time and give each of them the time that they need. My biggest issue with the book is that there is a reveal at the end. I'm gonna try to be vague because I don't want to spoil the ending in case you haven't read the book and you want to. There is a big reveal at the end. You do eventually find out what happened to lead Lilia's father to abducting her. It's kind of set up in this way that Lilia doesn't really remember what happened prior to her father abducting her. There's not really any time given to that. That kind of brought the story down for me because when it was revealed it, it kind of felt like it came out of left field. It didn't really feel like it flowed with the rest of the story. It didn't feel like a puzzle piece that fit into the rest of the puzzle. It kind of felt like an extra puzzle piece that was in the box that didn't really go with the rest of the puzzle. That's really like my biggest complaint with the book is that everything leading up to the big reveal was crafted so wonderfully and everything really did come together but the reveal didn't feel like it was 
right it didn't it kind of felt a little bit out of place like there was something missing because there wasn't really any time given to it prior to the big reveal and you find out what happened in just like a two page span and there's not a lot of context with it. So I, I think that that just brought the story down a little bit. I'm trying really hard not to compare it to Station Eleven because I know that this was her first book and Station Eleven is her fourth book and obviously she's grown as a writer and things are different, but it's hard not to considering that in Station Eleven there was a kind of similar plot structure and everything did come together and had the right amount of context and everything to make sense. And I think that it didn't in this book, which is unfortunate. But really everything leading up to it was great. So I would definitely recommend Last Night in Montreal if you like Emily St. John Mandel, if you have read Station Eleven or either of her other books and you want to read more. I, I think it's a really good book. I think that it is definitely signature to Emily St. John Mandel. You can definitely tell that this was written by her. But I would definitely say that it's not as good as her later books. I haven't read the middle two, but it's definitely not as good as Station Eleven. So just go into it with an open mind, but maybe you'll like it a little bit more than I did. And I'm not saying I didn't like it. I just did have a couple of minor problems with it. Let me know down in the comments if you've read Last Night in Montreal and what you thought about it. Do you have similar or different opinions to me? I would really love to know. Just be careful about posting spoilers in the comments because if there is anybody out there who hasn't read the book that doesn't want to know how it ends, we don't want to ruin it for them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again very soon. Bye!